LL Parser. In computer science, an LL Parser left to right, leftmost derivation is a top-down parser for a subset of context-free languages. It parses the input from left to right, performing leftmost derivation of the sentence. An LL parser is called an LLK parser if it uses K tokens of look-ahead when parsing a sentence. A grammar is called an LLK grammar if an LLK parser can be constructed from it. A formal language is called an LLK language if it has an LLK grammar. The set of LLK languages is properly contained in that of LLK plus one languages, for each k equals zero. A corollary of this is that not all context-free languages can be recognized by an LLK parser. An LL parser is called LL regular if it parses precisely the class of LL regular languages LLR grammars, are a proper superset of LLK grammars for any K for every LLR grammar there exists an LLR parser that parses the grammar in linear time. Two nomenclative outlier parser types are LL asterisk and L alphanite. A parser is called LL asterisk slash L alphanite if it uses the LL asterisk slash L alphanite parsing strategy. LL asterisk and L alphanite parsers are functionally more closely resemblant to PEG parsers. An L alphanite parser can parse an arbitrary LLK grammar optimally in the amount of look-ahead and look-ahead comparisons. The class of grammars parsable by the LL asterisk strategy encompasses some context-sensitive languages due to the use of syntactic and semantic predicates and has not been identified. It has been suggested that LL asterisk parsers are better thought of as TDPL parsers. Against the popular misconception, LL asterisk parsers are not LLR in general and are guaranteed by construction to perform worse on average superlinear against linear time and far worse in the worst case exponential against linear time. LL grammars, particularly L lone grammars, are of great practical interest as parsers for these grammars are easy to construct and many computer languages are designed to be L-lone for this reason. LL parsers are table-based parsers similar to LR parsers. LL grammars can also be parsed by recursive descent parsers. According to Waite and Goose 1984, LLK grammars were introduced by Stearns and Louis 1969. Overview. For a given context-free grammar, the parser attempts to find the leftmost derivation. Given an example grammar, g, backslash display style g, s, e, backslash display style s backslash to e, e, e plus, e, backslash display style e backslash to e plus e e i backslash display style e backslash to i the leftmost derivation for four 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 W equals I plus I plus I backslash display style W equals I plus I plus I is S equals one E equals two E plus E 
equals 2 e plus e plus e equals 3 i plus e plus e equals 3 i plus i plus e equals 3 i plus i plus i backslash display style s backslash backslash overset one backslash right a row backslash e backslash backslash overset two backslash right a row backslash e plus e backslash backslash overset two backslash right a row backslash e plus e plus e backslash backslash overset three backslash right a row backslash i plus e plus e backslash backslash overset three backslash right a row backslash i plus i plus e backslash backslash overset three backslash right a row backslash i plus i plus i generally there are multiple possibilities when selecting a rule to expand the leftmost non-terminal in step two of the previous example the parser must choose whether to apply rule two or rule three s equals one e equals Backslash display style s backslash backslash overset one backslash right a row backslash e backslash backslash overset backslash right a row backslash. To be efficient, the parser must be able to make this choice deterministically when possible without backtracking. For some grammars, can do this by peeking on the unread input without reading. In our example, if the parser knows that the next unread symbol is backslash display style, the only correct rule that can be used is two. Generally, and 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 LLK backslash display style LLK parser can look ahead at K backslash display style K symbols however given a grammar the problem of determining if there exists a LL K backslash display style LLK parser for some K backslash display style K that recognizes it is undecidable for each K backslash display style K there is a language that cannot be recognized by an LL K backslash display style LLK parser but can be by an I N I N I N I N I N I N L L K plus one backslash display style LLK plus one we can use the above analysis to give the following formal definition. Let G backslash display style G be a context free grammar and K equals 1 backslash display style K backslash jet 1. We say that G backslash display style G is LL K backslash display style LLK if and only if for any two leftmost derivations s equals equals w a a equals equals w b a equals equals w u u u u u u u you 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 
backslash display style s backslash backslash right arrow backslash backslash c dots backslash backslash right arrow backslash w a backslash alpha backslash backslash right arrow backslash backslash c dots backslash backslash right arrow backslash w backslash beta backslash alpha backslash backslash right arrow backslash backslash c dots backslash backslash right arrow backslash rule s equals equals w a a equals equals w g a equals equals w v backslash display style s backslash backslash right arrow backslash backslash c dots backslash backslash right arrow backslash w a backslash alpha backslash backslash right arrow backslash backslash c dots backslash backslash right arrow backslash w backslash gamma backslash alpha backslash backslash right arrow backslash backslash c dots backslash backslash right arrow backslash w v the following condition holds the prefix of the string u backslash display style u of length 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 k backslash display style k equals the prefix of the string v backslash display style v of length 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 k backslash display style k implies v equals g backslash display style backslash beta backslash equals backslash backslash gamma in this definition s backslash display style s s is the start symbol and a backslash display style a any non-terminal the already derived input w backslash display style w and yet unread u backslash display style u and v backslash display style v are strings of terminals the greek letters a backslash display style backslash alpha v backslash display style backslash beta and g backslash display style backslash gamma represent any string of both terminals and non-terminals possibly empty the prefix length corresponds to the look-ahead buffer size and the definition says that this buffer is enough to distinguish between any two derivations of different words parser the, the L L K backslash display style L L K parser is a deterministic pushdown automaton with the ability to peek on the next K backslash display style K input symbols without reading. This peek capability can be emulated by storing the look ahead buffer contents in the finite state space, since both buffer and input alphabet are finite in size. A result, this does not make the automaton more powerful, but is a convenient abstraction. The stack alphabet is G equals N S backslash display style backslash gamma equals N backslash cup backslash sigma, where N backslash display style N is the set of non terminals S backslash display style backslash sigma the set of terminal input symbols with a special end of input eoi symbol dollar backslash display style backslash dollar the parser stack initially contains the starting symbol above the eoi s dollar backslash display style backslash s backslash backslash dollar backslash during operation the parser repeatedly replaces the symbol x backslash display style x on top of the stack with some a backslash display style backslash alpha if x n backslash display style x backslash in n 
and there is a rule x a backslash display style x backslash to backslash alpha with with backslash display style backslash epsilon in some notations l backslash display style backslash lambda i.e. x backslash display style x is popped off the stack if x s backslash display style x backslash in backslash sigma in this case an input symbol x backslash display style x is read and if x x backslash display style x backslash neck x the parser rejects the input if the last symbol to be removed from the stack is the eoi the parsing is successful the automaton accepts via an empty stack the states and the transition function are not explicitly given they are specified generated using a more convenient parse table instead the table provides the following mapping row top of stack symbol x backslash display style x column w equals k backslash display style w backslash let k look ahead buffer contents cell rule number four x a backslash display style x backslash to backslash alpha or backslash display style backslash epsilon if the parser cannot perform a valid transition the input is rejected empty cells to make the table more compact only the non-terminal rows are commonly displayed since the action is the same for terminals concrete example setup to explain an l loan parser's workings we will consider the following small l loan grammar SFSS plus F, F ont parse the following input. A plus an L loan parsing table for a grammar has a row for each of the non terminals and a column for each terminal, including the special terminal represented here as dollar, that is used to indicate the end of the input stream. Each cell of the table may point to at most one rule of the grammar identified by its number. For example, in the parsing table for the above grammar, a cell for the non-terminal S and terminal points to the rule number 2. 2, Q, 2. The algorithm to construct a parsing table is described in a later section, but first let's see how the parser uses the parsing table to process its input. Parsing procedure. In each step, the parser reads the next available symbol from the input stream and the topmost symbol from the stack. If the input symbol and the stack top symbol match, the parser discards them both, leaving only the unmatched symbols in the input stream and on the stack. Thus, in its first step, the parser reads the input symbol and the stack top symbol S. The parsing table instruction comes from the column headed by the input symbol and the row headed by the stack top symbol S this cell contains 2, which instructs the parser to apply rule 2. The parser has to rewrite S to S plus F on the stack by removing S from stack and pushing F plus S onto the stack, and this writes the rule number 2 to the output. The stack then becomes S plus F dollar. In the second step, parser removes the from its input stream and from its stack since they now match. The stack now becomes plus F dollar. Now the parser has an A on its input stream and an S as its stack top. The parsing table instructs it to apply rule 1 from the grammar and write the rule number 1 to the output stream. The stack becomes F plus F dollar. The parser now has an A on its input stream and an F as its stack top. The parsing table instructs it to apply rule 3 from the grammar and write the rule number 3 to the output stream. The stack becomes A plus F dollar. The parser now has an A on the input stream and an at its stack top. 
Because they are the same, it removes it from the input stream and pops it from the top of the stack. The parser then has an plus on the input stream and plus is at the top of the stack meaning, like with A, it is popped from the stack and removed from the input stream. This results in F dollar 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 dollar. In the next three steps, the parser will replace F on the stack by A. Write the rule number three to the output stream and remove the and from both the stack and the input stream. Parser thus ends with dollar on both its stack and its input stream. In this case, the parser will report that it has accepted the input string and write the following list of rule numbers to the output stream. 2, 1, 3, 3. This is indeed a list of rules for a leftmost derivation of the input string, which is is SS plus FF plus FA plus FA plus A parser implementation in C++. Below follows a C++ implementation of a table-based LL parser for the example language. Parser implementation in Python. Remarks. As can be seen from the example, the parser performs three types of steps depending on whether the top of the stack is a non-terminal, a terminal or the special symbol dollar. If the top is a non-terminal, then the parser looks up in the parsing table on the basis of this non-terminal and the symbol on the input stream, which rule of the grammar it should use to replace non-terminal on the stack. The number of the rule is written to the output stream. If the parsing table indicates that there is no such rule, then the parser reports an error and stops. If the top is a terminal, then the parser compares it to the symbol on the input stream, and if they are equal, they are both removed. If they are not equal, the parser reports an error and stops. If the top is dollar, and on the input stream there is also a dollar, then the parser reports, and it has successfully parsed the input, otherwise it reports an error. In both cases, the parser will stop. These steps are repeated until the parser stops, and then it will have either completely parsed the input and written a leftmost derivation to the output stream, or it will have reported an error. Constructing an L loan parsing table. In order to fill the parsing table, we have to establish what grammar rule the parser should choose if it sees a non-terminal on the top of its stack and a symbol on its input stream. It is easy to see that such a rule should be of the form a W, and that the language corresponding to W should have at least one string starting with A. For this purpose, we define the first set of W written here as foo, as the set of terminals that can be found at the start of some string in W, plus E if the empty string also belongs to W. Given a grammar with the rules A on 1, Initialize every phi ai with the empty set. Add phi to phi ai for every rule ai y, where phi is defined as follows. Phi o equals a for every terminal a, phi o equals phi a for every non-terminal a with e not in phi a. Phi o equals phi a backslash e. Phi for every non-terminal a with e in phi a. Phi equals e. Add phi to phi ai for every rule ai y. Do steps 2 and 3 until all phi sets stay the same. The result is the least fixed point solution to the following system. Phi a phi for each rule a w phi a, a for each terminal a phi 0 1 phi 0 asterisk phi 1 for all words w 0 and 1 phi e where, for sets of words u and v, the truncated product is defined by u asterisk v equals u v, 1 u u v, v and w, 1 denotes the initial length 1 prefix of words w of length 2 or more, or w itself, if w has length 0 or 1. Unfortunately, the first sets are not sufficient to compute the parsing table. This is because a right-hand side w of a rule might ultimately be rewritten to the empty string. 
So the parser should also use the rule a w if e is in few and it sees on the input stream a symbol that could follow a therefore we also need the follow set of a written as foa here which is defined as the set of terminals a such that there is a string of symbols a a that can be derived from the start symbol. We use dollar as a special terminal indicating end of input stream and ss start symbol. Computing the follow sets for the non-terminals in a grammar can be done as follows. Initialize fo s with dollar and every other fo ai with the empty set. If there is a rule of the form ajwau, then if the terminal a is in foo, then add a to fo ai. If e is in foo, then add fo aj to fo ai. If w has length zero, then add fo aj to fo ai. Repeat step two until all fo sets stay the same. This provides the least fixed point solution to the following system. Fo s dollar. Fo a, few asterisk fo b for each rule of the form b. A w now we can define exactly which rules will appear where in the parsing table. If ta a denotes the entry in the table for non-terminal a and terminal a, then ta a contains the rule a w if and only if a is in few or E is in foo, and a is in fo a. Equivalently, ta a contains the rule a w for each a, foo asterisk fo a. If the table contains at most one rule in every one of its cells, then the parser will always know which rule it has to use and can therefore parse strings without backtracking. It is in precisely this case that the grammar is called an L lone grammar. Constructing an LLK parsing table. The construction for L loan parsers can be adapted to LLK for K1 with the following modifications. The truncated product is defined U asterisk V equals U V K U U V V where W K denotes the initial length K prefix of words of length K or W itself. Fo S equals dollar K where an input is suffixed by K end markers dollar to fully account for the k-look-ahead context. Until the mid-1990s, it was widely believed that LLK parsing for K1 was impractical. This perception changed gradually after the release of the Purdue Compiler Construction Tool set around 1992, when it was demonstrated that many programming languages can be parsed efficiently by an LLK parser without triggering the worst-case behavior of the parser. Moreover, in certain cases LL parsing is feasible even with unlimited look-ahead. By contrast, traditional parser generators like Yak use LAL Roan parser tables to construct a restricted LR parser with a fixed one-token look-ahead. Conflicts As described in the introduction, l loan parsers recognize languages that have l loan grammars, which are a special case of context-free grammars. l loan parsers cannot recognize all context-free languages. The l loan languages are a proper subset of the l loan languages, which in turn are a proper subset of all context-free languages. In order for a context-free grammar to be an l loan grammar, certain conflicts must not arise, which we describe in this section. Terminology let it be a non-terminal. First it is defined to be the set of terminals that can appear in the first position of any string derived from A follow it is the union over 1 first where B is any non-terminal that immediately follows it in the right-hand side of a production rule and 2 follow where B is any head of a rule of the form BWA. L loan conflicts. There are two main types of L loan conflicts. First slash first conflict. The first sets of two different grammar rules for the same non-terminal intersect. An example of an L loan first slash first conflict. S E E A. E B E. First equals B. E and first equals B. Of so when the table is drawn, there is conflict under terminal B of production rule S. Special case left recursion. 
Left recursion will cause a first slash first conflict with all alternatives. EE plus term altone alt one. First slash follow conflict. The first and follow set of a grammar rule overlap. With an empty string E in the first set, it is unknown which alternative to select. An example of an L loan conflict. S A B. A E. The first set of a now is A E and the follow set of solutions to L loan conflicts. Left factoring. A common left factor is factored out. A XXYZ becomes a XBBYZE can be applied when two alternatives start with the same symbol like a first slash first conflict. Another example more complex using above first slash first conflict example. SEEA EBE becomes merging into a single non-terminal. SBEBA then through left factoring becomes SBEEEE -E -E -E. substitution substituting a rule into another rule to remove indirect or first slash follow conflicts. Note that this may cause a first slash first conflict. Left recursion removal. For a general method, see removing left recursion. A simple example for left recursion removal. The following production rule has left recursion on E. E E plus T E T. This rule is nothing but list of TS separated by plus. In a regular expression form T plus T asterisk. So the rule could be rewritten as E T Z Z plus T Z Z E. Now there is no left recursion and no conflicts on either of the rules. However, not all context-free grammars have an equivalent LLK grammar, e.g. S a B a B E. B a B B B E. It can be shown that there does not exist any LLK grammar accepting the language generated by this grammar.